Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well today. We're looking at setting up the HOTAS, the joystick controls for the newly available MB339 aircraft. It's a freely available community mod, so everyone go out and get it. It's good, it's good fun, you know, it's not the same quality as the, you know, the top $70 modules, but obviously for a free thing it's, a, it's good and it's good fun it's good to fly and it's also got a pretty cool flight model as well just like the kind of planes i like to fly nice and simple manual control uh, anyway so let's get on with our job i've got an x56 hotas you guys probably know that by now you will probably have a different joystick but i will say the buttons that i'm binding them to on my hotas and you can emulate that as best you can the main thing you'll get from this video is which of the controls that need binding okay so let's go into options controls select our um, mb339 right there's not many controls to this aircraft at the moment so it's pretty easy to set up we're going to go to uh, axis controls first of all we're going to do the usual thing we've got the thrust i've already got the, the controls set up but we're just going to tape over them so this here is the action there are hundreds of actions but we only need about a dozen to set here is the category that the category that the action sits under here is the keyboard command here is the left hotas here is the right hotas here is track ir and anything else so thrust i've just got a single engine we're going to double click there on the left hotas i'm going to move the thrust stick forward move it back okay test it done next the rudder you will probably have some separate rudder pedals but i don't have them because my legs aren't i just can't do it basically so I've got the twist uh, twist stick on my right HOTAS, right control stick. So I'm going to go over to here, double click, twist it left, twist it right, go OK. Just check it's picked that up OK. Put that in the middle. And next, with these three here, we need to tune them. So go to Axis Tune. And you'll see here, you'll want to put some curvature on them. My standard curvature, all of my aircraft, to keep them all uniform and easy to track, is 25. And that gives us an extra bit of detail around the small movements, less detail around the big movements. You'll almost never use the big movements. You'll always be using the small movements. So that's something that's worth doing. Okay. Next, we've got the X. So we've got the roll. Double click. Move the stick left. Move it right. Okay. Test it. Centralize it. Axis tune. And the same thing, tune it up to 25. Okay. Joystick Y, uh, double click, if I can, forwards, backwards. Okay, test it, neutralize it, axis tune, and curvature 25. Me, you may find a different curvature with your stick, you'll have to find out what works best for you. If the red dot is outside the square, that means that the stick is not centralizing properly. You can cancel that out with a bit of dead zone if you want. It's not doing it bad enough on my one to, to worry about it, but it's just something you can do. Okay, and that is all of the axis done. Next, we're going to do the left HOTAS. So we're going to go up here and we're going to go to search. First thing I'm going to do is do auto start and auto stop. Now, this isn't actually working at the moment, but it probably will do at some point. So we might as well get it done. So auto start here. I'm going to double click here on the left HOTAS. I've got some uh, switches at the very bottom of the base of the HOTAS. Uh, in fact, the very top right one I'm going to use. I'm going to, my usual auto start. I'm going to move it up. And I'm going to go auto stop. I'm going to do the down movement of that switch. Ping. Okay. Next is going to be the reticle change. It has four different reticles to use on this aircraft. And so we're going to type reticle in there. And it's going to be the uh, on the right hand side of the thrust lever. There is a single binary button, and I'm going to press that here. That's that. I'd usually use that for autopilot on most of my aircraft, but it works well for changing the uh, reticle here, so that's fine. Next, we're going to do flaps. So search flaps, fla simple flaps up, flaps down. I've got a it's actually a four way switch, but I use it as a two way switch on the very right bottom of the thrust lever and I'm going to do the down motion of that switch here and the up motion of that switch here okay next is the air brake now in the manual it says that there is an air brake up and an air brake down but there isn't it just doesn't exist so it's just a toggle like this which is a little bit annoying that's the way it is so again another two-way switch just above the previous one on the right hand side of the thrust stick and what I'm going to do is put the up and the down motion as um, as the toggle it's the best I can do for that okay um, that's air brake so that is everything done 
on the on the left side of the hotas so, so all we've got is the right side of the hotas that start with uh, the triggers so if we type in fire fire gun it's going to be main trigger one and fire weapons is going to be what i call the secondary trigger on the right side of the head of the joystick right hotas okay next we have the kind of front where your pinky uh, finger is small finger is on the right hotas right joystick We've got two kind of little trigger switches they're right at the bottom of the joystick they're very useful and the first i'm going to have as nasal steering turn off on this one i always use as nasal steering just this little trigger down here okay and then we're going to have wheel brake down here as the second trigger down right down here at the bottom as I always do for all of my aircraft keep these controls as uniform as you can for all of your aircraft otherwise it will just be a nightmare to maintain as you get more modules okay that's that done now again the manual says that there is left and right uh, differential wheel braking but there isn't in here at the moment so it just isn't uh, so that's that next we move to the top of the head of the joystick right hotas we've got several four-way hat switches so they have an up down left and right motion so the top right one is always for my trim for whichever aircraft we're looking at so we're going to go trim and we're going to go left wing down the left motion of that hat down the down motion up up and obviously right right that's our trim setup so that only leaves us one thing which is our zoom ability we we'll, all, all, whenever you play dcs you have to have the ability to zoom in and zoom out all the time it's very important without that you can't read your instruments you can't look out for hostiles you can't see the threshold of the runway properly and, and so on and so forth so uh, usually it's in here axis commands and this is the only aircraft that this does not work on it's very frustrating it's that there zoom you want to uh, add that onto your hotas as a twiddly knob uh, axis so that i can use you can just with your thumb twiddle it in twiddle it out so you can zoom in zoom out like focusing on something with your eyes that's what it's supposed to represent doesn't work it's bugged or whatever on the on the 339 you can't click on it on anything um so it's very annoying so this is the most annoying thing about flying this aircraft and obviously they need to get it fixed asap but until then we have to just use a binary control so we're going to go search we're going to go zoom and it's going to be uh you have to get the right one zoom in slow zoom in out and zoom in normal so zoom in slow zooms in slowly zoom in out slowly and goes back to normal it's the best we've got so i've got a four-way hat switch just under the trim uh, one that we just had on the head of the uh, the stick so to zoom in slow i'm going to go the upwards motion of that zoom out slow the downwards motion and then to reset into the middle kind of zoom i've got just the left and the right motion as like a, a kind of way of resetting basically okay that's it that's your 339 setup that like i said there aren't many controls at the moment uh, you will be using the j juliet key to swap between multi cruise we'll look at that in a video later on otherwise that's it all done um go out and fly your 339 and have fun i hope you enjoyed that see you later